everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss about nav based theorem or nav based algorithm this is really interesting topic and uh, very important in machine learning so let's get started uh, so have you ever wondered like uh, in any cricket match football match or tennis match uh, you must have seen some sort of predictor when there is different weather conditions that a particular game will continue or not so this sort of thing uh, is this sort of prediction is given by nav based algorithm with the use of nav based algorithm and we will be going to discuss the same so you must be uh, able to see this data uh, i will be using this data and applying nav based algorithm on this data to find uh, that game will happen or not in particular weather condition before that uh, before proceeding with directly with nav based algorithm i will first give you the introduction and about the nav based algorithm what formula works behind it and then we will be uh, doing the practical implementation on this data so let's get started so nav based algorithm is first of all it is a supervised it is a supervised ml algorithm the second one is that this is based on bayes formula and what is that i am going to tell you and again this works on the concept of probability and uh, if we think of practical use cases of this algorithm this algorithm can be used for like spam classifier uh, like any particular email is a spam or not and uh, this algorithm can be used for sentimental analysis as well and one more use case i can uh, give you right now is this can be used for classifying articles as well classifying articles so this these are the kind of introduction and these are the use cases and if i tell you the formula this algorithm is based on the formula of bayes formula which is this one probability of a given b so this uh, slash or this uh, uh this symbol is read as uh, given that means probability of a given b probability of a given event b has occurred is equal to probability of b given a multiply by probability of a divided by probability of b so this is the formula that works behind this algorithm and we will be applying this formula we will be using this formula on this but before this uh, kind of as a refresher let me tell you how probability works so probability is basically um, the uh, occurrence of a particular event given the total number of events so for example uh, if you toss a coin then probability of getting head and probability of getting tail is 1 by 2 because uh, there could be total number of occurrences could be 2 uh, and one out of them is head so it is the probability of head and it is the probability of tail and another example let me give it to you that uh, assume that uh, we have given a basket of fruit and it contains let's say 10 10 fruit inside it and these 10 fruit contains like five mangoes one apple four oranges so uh, if somebody is blindfolded and ask that what is the probability of picking a uh, particular fruit from that basket so probability of picking a mango from that particular basket would be 5 out of 
because there are total number of five mangoes and total number of fruits are uh, 10. Similarly, probability of picking an apple from that basket is 1 by 10 and probability of picking orange from that basket is 4 by 10. So this is how uh, probability concept works. So now we will be uh, using the same concept um, using the probability concept on this algorithm to find out that given a particular weather condition particular game will happen or not so there are steps involved into this that there are three steps generally we use so very first week and this is our given data set what we do in first step we convert our uh, data into uh, frequency tables create frequency tables at first step we create frequency tables the second step what we do we gender we, uh, we create likelihood tables I'm going to tell you what are these tables and third one is apply this formula so these are the three steps that we are going to perform uh, on this data so this is our given data set now let us apply the first step on this so how we are going to create frequency table for this so assume that we uh, have been asked that this is the historic data given to you and let's say someone asks us that whether game will happen if your day is sunny or not this is the question suppose we have to predict whether game will happen if it is a sunny day so that means uh, if i write this sentence into this form then it will be probability of game yes yani ki, that means uh, play yes given uh, day is sunny so this is this is what we need to find here the here a is represented as that uh, play is happening play is going uh, and b is uh, b is the event that uh, it is a sunny day so we are going to uh, predict this and this is our question so i rewrote this sentence into mathematical form like this and we are going we need to find using this formula this is our given historic data so first step is our uh, we need to convert this table into uh, frequency table so how we are going to convert frequency table so here you can see that there are uh, four type of features like over, out uh, one is rainy sunny overcast runny sunny overcast basically there are three three type of features which could be happen so how we will do it this is our outlook and it have three types of values our weather could be rainy our weather could be sunny and our weather could be uh, overcast our weather could be overcast so let me write it again so basically what we are going to use uh, this is our outlook column and it have three types of values one is overcast overcast the other one is it have rainy the third one it have is sunny fine now we need to convert uh, this table into occurrence frequency table so that means uh, how we are going to convert it into so our table will be like outlook column yes column and no column that means if my uh, outlook is overcast how many occurrences are there that it is a yes so you can see that in this uh, this one two three four five 
सो देर आर फाइव अक्रेंसीज ऑफ ओवरकास्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ द अक्रेंसीज आर यस फॉर ओवरकास्ट एंड देर इज नो अक्रेंस ऑफ ओवर देर इज नो अक्रेंस ऑफ नो फॉर ओवरकास्ट वैल्यू सिमिलरली वी आर गोइंग टू चेक फॉर रेनी फॉर रेनी यू कैन सी दैट देर इज वन यस एंड देर इज टू यस एंड दिस इज रेनी बट दिस इज नो सो देर आर फॉर रेनी देर आर टू यस एंड द सिमिलर वे देर आर टू नो दिस वन एंड वन रेनी नो इज दिस वन सो देर आर टू रेनी नोज द सिमिलरली इफ यू कैलकुलेट फॉर सनी देर आर थ्री यस एंड देर आर टू नोज सो I am. I have just uh, what I have done. I have calculated the occurrence or frequency of for each feature, and I just put uh, into yes and no. So you can see that five, two, seven, and then three. Uh, so there are total ten occurrences of yes, and there are four occurrences of no. If you calculate yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. so there are 10 occurrences of yes and there are four occurrences of so this is our frequency table frequency table is nothing but, but uh, we are just kind of uh, uh, converting our raw data into another form or we are just calculating uh, the frequencies for each feature like for each feature how many are yes and how many are no once this table is uh, cre created then we are going to create uh, our likelihood table so our likelihood table will be uh, something like this in likelihood table what we do we try to find out uh, for each condition uh, how we will do this outlook no yes so what we are going to do we are just kind of uh, using the uh, finding the probability from this table so there are let me raise it and write it in a very clean manner so so this was my frequency table and um, this is my likelihood table likelihood table is nothing but we are kind of finding the probability outlook and how we will do this uh, let me show it to you so let me show it to you uh, so from this table and for overcast there are five yes there are zero no and if we find the probability probability of overcast what it will be it will be 5 by 14 how it will be 5 by 14 let me show it to you if it is rainy there are two yes two no and if it is sunny there are two uh, three yes and two no so what we are going to do we are going to calculate probability of each and one each and every one so there are total 5 2 7 10 and there are four so the probability of happening uh, yes is probability of yes is 10 divided by 14 because there are total number of 14 occurrences and out of those 14 uh, there are 10 yes so probability of yes means probability of happening again in any condition is uh, 10 by 14 so that means probability of yes is 10 by 14 
and probability of game not happening is 4 by 14 so in any condition uh, whatever the weather there are four occurrences of no and there are total occurrences 4 divided by 14 the similar way if i am going to find the probability of overcast probability of overcast is 5 divided by 14 the similar way probability of rainy is probability of rain is 4 by 14 and probability of your sunny is again 5 by 14 so this uh, this would be around 0 0.35 so now we have calculated each and every probability now assume that we have to find uh, this equation we have to put this thing into let me erase this frequency table now the second step also has been done now third step is to put all these value into this so assume that we have to find that probability of yes yes means that game is happening given it is let's say sunny is equal to probability of sunny given yes that means and it means that probability of sunny means that uh, probability of sunny given that game has happened in in history uh, from this data so and probability of uh, yes here our a is our yes and probability of B is our probability of sunny probability of sunny now this will give us now we just have to put all these value into this now probability of sunny given yes this can be found like from this table so there are uh, three probability or uh, there are three occurrences of yes given sunny and total is our 10 so that means total total occurrence of yes playing game is 10 and out of these is uh, uh, 3 are of sunny so that means it will be like probability of 3 by 10 sunny is equal to given yes i just found from here like there are three yes and probability of uh, total uh, total number of yes are 10 and 3 are for uh, sunny into probability of yes probability of yes is this one 10 by 14 10 by 14 would be around 0 0.71 and this 3 by 10 can be rewrite as 0 0.3 and now probability of sunny we have calculated here is 5 by 14 which is around 0 0.35 now if we do the calculation of all these things it will come around 0 0.6 so this means that probability of happening any game given whether is sunny is 0 0.6 that means if it is a sunny day there are 60 percent chances that game will happen and the uh, we can find the other way around as well let's say if i have to find the um, let's say i have to find the probability of uh, no given sunny that means probability of no game uh, given the weather is sunny so how we can do this so let me write this this way so our probability of i'm writing here probability of um, yes given sunny it was 0 0.6 now if we this was the and if we have to calculate probability of no given sunny if we have to calculate this so what we are going to do probability of sunny given no play has happened probability of no there is no game divided by probability of sunny 
so we just need to put all these value into this equation how we are going to do this this means that probability of uh, uh, a day is sunny when there is no game so how we can found this we can find this probability of sunny uh, there are how many occurrences of sunny when there is, there was no game so this is like uh, we can find from here probability of sunny which is 2 and when there is no game which is total there are total number of uh, no is 2 plus 2 4 so that would be 0 0.5 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 and we can write it as 0 0.5 and probability of no probability of no the probability of this column is 4 by 14 which was uh, 4 by 14 was our 0 0.29 and probability of sunny was 0 0.35 and if we calculate this it will come around 0 0.4 so now you can see that you can see that using this formula we calculated this and probability of this came out to be 4 which is uh, seems to be fair and true because 0 point probability of uh, having any game given the weather is sunny is 60% and probability of having no game given the weather is sunny is 40% and total is your 100%. So this is how actually uh, your nav based algorithm works. These are the concept. Uh, you just need to have a quick look on your probability um, concepts and then you can apply this formula in, in the steps that I have mentioned. First you need to uh, find the frequency table, then you find the likelihood table and then you apply this formula. So these are only these three steps and you can find, you can apply this algorithm on any of the problem set. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. In last I request you please do subscribe my channel. I am working really hard on uh, the machine learning playlist. So if you like it, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you.